Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy with the helpful witch. Let's pet a little cat. We haven't pet one in a while and he was on our way, so let's give it a little scratch. Anyways, aww, I'm out to you too. Anyways, we are going to hopefully, finally, find out this hidden herbology corridor. So we've got this quest actually a couple of episodes ago. Um, however, I keep getting distracted um, and I end up never trying to look for it. So now that we're outside of Hogwarts, because we've actually been doing some nice quests in Hogwarts, which I've actually been enjoying quite a lot. So now that we're outside, hopefully this should make it a bit easier as in... It's less distraction and we'll be able to just fly over. That's also why I'm not teleporting there. Because if I do, I feel like I will for sure find something else to do. Also, didn't we do this astrology table? These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Oh, those. Okay, but I wanted to check this first. Because see, we're already kind of um, getting a little bit distracted. This time is fine because, you know, we're almost there. Um... A phoenix, nice. I like that. Ooh, one more and then we'll get a reward. Actually, see, this is why I keep getting distracted. Um, have we got... Uh, no, we don't have anything. I thought we had completed a challenge. We did actually level up finally and we have two talent points. Hmm. What should we get you? We should definitely get something. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. That does sound good, although I am pretty bad at stupefying. Perfect Protego, definitely not, because I'm really not good. Basic basic cast, um, evading, contributes to refilling, that could be good. Uh, they remain stunned for a longer period of time. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, actually, Defendium might be good to get more... If you don't cast slice through impact enemies to strike additional target, that might be a nice one. We do use a lot of stealth though, and we haven't. Enemy ability to detect you is reduced. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint. Okay, we should definitely do this one. Uh, room of requirement, we haven't really done much on. Um, endurance potion, in, we don't really use the invisibility potion. Um, fertilizer. Oh, we don't really use any of these. Mm. Okay, well, we spent one, po one point. We'll think about how we can spend another one as we go. Okay, there we go. Finally, we're finding this hidden herbology corridor. Now, I suppose that in here there won't be enemies I'm guessing though there might be there you go I was gonna say devil snare there we go I was gonna say so we are at Hogwarts so we shouldn't find any goblins or um, dark wizards but we are in the herbology corridor meaning probably devil snare and here we are okay how there was a chest over there did i miss a way to get it or is it still in front of us oh it's still in front of us okay so the chest is over there can we like accurate do we think no but there is some stairways in here so maybe we can ooh we can light up the torches that should help us out ooh more torch over there perfect and then i guess we just jump and we got some nice forest sorcerer out nice okay who's this statue of hmm. nobody recognize 
Okay, well, let's keep going and keeping our eyes peeled for any secrets or chests. I see something already in the distance in front of us being highlighted. Um, I wonder what that is. I guess we can just clear it out. Oh, another torch. Nice, let's clear the way. Anything else around us? I mean, I'm guessing we're gonna need to. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Oh, ah, 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 ah. I thought we'd be able to go there more quickly, but I guess we didn't. Uh, good thing that we didn't burn this chest. Um, anything over here? Hmm. This looks like maybe it was a classroom or something. Okay, we should be safe from the Devil's Snare, but I do like turning on the different lights. Oh, there was another one here as well. Well, let's get all of them. Okay, so we need to go forward. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. I mean, we did already have venomous tentacular ourselves, so I didn't. I don't think we needed to go here. Are there any? There we go. We can grab some galleons, and we can light that torch. Any other torch? Actually, let me first cast Revelio. Anything else? No. Okay. Well. Okay, we have a giant venomous tentacular leaf and I guess we're good to go. Can we light up these torches as well? Nice. Anything else for anything else? No, it looks like we got everything and we were burning also the ladder. Um, so let's get on it before it disappears. And look, we can even grab more venomous tentacular. I think we're full. Yeah, we're full. Revenge. So this is a different... Um, oh, there is a chest over there, though. It looks like this is a venomous tentacular only um, greenhouse. But now maybe we unlock it and so we can stock up in here. Could we not go in here before? Oh, wait. What? I don't know what's... Okay, Samantha, what's up? Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's, looking completely pathetic. You just said that he was doing well. I'm sorry. What happened? How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. What happened? I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. I mean, it's a little funny, but we're trying to be compassionate to her. Situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor, Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. And of my course he went to find it. making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. Um, okay, he needs help. Oh, awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. 
If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. Well, let's hope so. Trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade escaped a dragon and i could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you so will you help us i will i will let's see but i would like to know a bit more about this curse cursed, the curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between granham dale and his younger brother marmaduke Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granham resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry. Sounds as if it might run in the family. True. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granham did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granham felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granham stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. If I help, will my feet become beets? How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. And why was Marmaduke famous? Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. Okay, I I'll help. I'll the Marmaduke sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Okay. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. No worries. No worries. Okay, well, before we do that, let's finish the Hidden Herbology Corridor uh, quest, because otherwise I'm going to go insane. Uh, which way? This way? Okay, well, it's not too far away, so we should be able to return to him and then we'll go and have a look at this, uh, at this cave. Oh, it's nice to be back in Hogwarts. Um, I feel like before I heard a, the Dalian key, but I don't know where it went. So we, we probably will have to let it go for now. And then we'll find it another time. Okay, let's see what's up. To, uh, prove my bravery yet. Yes, but you didn't go there. The proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. I I don't know. What should we do? I mean, I know you guys can't influence my decision right now. I'm kind of torn because, I don't know, I mean, he wasn't too bad. But also, I hope he doesn't brag too much about it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again and have a good okay. day. I okay, I okay. I thought it was going to be all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Ooh, we got a venomous tentacular robe. I do really like this one. Um but uh like this one we got is really really cool, but we can change it at some other point. Also, we seem to have gotten something in the challenges. We did some quests. We got a lucky leprechaun ensemble. Nice, nice, nice. Um, okay, so we, we helped him, which was good. I think, I think we made the right choice. Also, I kind of wanted, as we're still in Hogwarts, I kind of wanted to go to our common room. Where is our, the Gryffindor common room? Flying off the shelf. 
Okay, we're very close. Let's we want to do some side quests, so let's um let's do this and hopefully we'll kind of make our way towards the common room. Um I want to try and put some of the Dedalian keys in, although it won't really work out yet because we don't have all of them. So I don't know if it's truly worth it for us to do it now, to be fair. So let's see what we can help Cressedia with. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. What happened? You recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Mm -hmm. well, I mastered that, and now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Okay. Um. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Okay, we'll have a look. Um, but yeah, why did Amit tell you? Tell Madame Scribner that they were your books. Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. <laughs> okay. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Oh, that's nice. I okay. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. <gasps> I'd rather Can we read it? The wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. Let's have a look then. We're right here. Um, and maybe we'll get to read their diary as well. And then pretend we haven't read it. Uh, oh, I see them. Yeah. Well, one. Two. Maybe. Two. Perfect. Our arm... Um, freaked out for a little bit there, uh, but we'll pretend that we didn't see it. Oh, I see another one up there. Oh, it, it, we didn't. It kind of missed it. Okay. Well, let's go up, I guess, because one was clearly up there. Uh, so we're two out of five. Oh, I see it over there. Okay, three out of five. I was stuck there for a second. Let's see any more. For any more. Oh, yes. Oh. If I... Okay. Collecting them, it's kind of getting, making us get stuck. As in, once we... Um, once we cast, for some reason, we're... Like, there is a big delay. Uh, anyone over here? Maybe not. Maybe they're both... Well, actually, let me go check at the back over there first. And then we'll go downstairs again and just double check anything over here. I think we can take more of the quiz over there. If we wanted. Uh, did I see something? No, it was just a person, I think. Okay, so we can probably go down. Also, I feel like I heard a key. Maybe I imagined it. But it would make sense to have a key. Oh, what? We didn't... We never got this one? Okay, well, Ferdinand, one second. We'll come back for you. Oh, I see it over there. And also, is that a Dalian key? Okay, two... Let's, I guess, get this key. Where are you running to? Or flying off of to? Oh, here is the other book. The last book. Now, okay. Back to Cressida. Dear diary, today was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concussions he was creating all over my perfectly stewed 
lacewing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potion, always disrupting Professor Sharp class with his experiment. I'm utterly convinced that if it wasn't Professor Weasley nephew, he wouldn't be expelled by now. Our breath smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Well, nothing too crazy in her diary. Also, hello, this is the librarian. I hope you're good. I saw that there was a chest. Um, Just look away now. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. I'll deny. I'll deny, I'll deny, I'll deny. All that for just a chest? Well, at least we got it. Um, can we cast Incendio again and like... Uh, let's see. I kind of want to. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out at all. Um. Okay, well, I'm glad that I didn't burn all your books down. Um. Anyways, we need to come back in here in a minute to get the other quest and also the Dedalion key. But let's give the books back first. And then we'll go back into the library. Hello. Hello I collected your books, including your diary. Yes. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. No worries. There was nothing in the diary, so we'll, well just give them back. Learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon now to work out where I went wrong perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin thank good some people are trustworthy certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary exactly exactly however you know we have so much money so we really don't need to steal more money from them also um there was really nothing crazy in there. Okay, let's use Revelio because I want to know where that Dedalion key went. And it looks like it went over here somewhere. Perfect. Okay, I think there are 16 of these and we're like at 3. So, I guess now 4. But I think maybe we put already 1 down. So maybe we are 11 away. That would make sense let's see what he wants Sir, are you all right you seem to be in some distress all right do i look all right i've been kidnapped how can you be kidnapped when you're right here what sort of question is that of course i'm right here i've more than one frame do you only have one home it's my other frame it's been stolen and by students no less they pay filthy fees to steal my other frame um, um, I don't know. Really happen, or are you simply being over dramatic? Yeah, you look a bit over dramatic, though. I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, she is a rather horse faced girl, that's a story of cricket. My she god, her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good for nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel of the place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So, back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I could afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Does a spy on student? Huh? Let's let's see. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's yeah. She's a fourth year troublemaker. That's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. 
I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. Okay, so yeah, he's um stealing secrets. Do important work yeah. for the headmaster. Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment, and the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't know if I love Tattle Tales, I don't but you let's see. Idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I can look okay. at the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Mm -mm. Um, where would it be? I mean, we'd probably fast travel somewhere. Um, I want to actually check if I did miss the dialing keys outside somewhere. However, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we'll find it. Hopefully, it's kind of already on the map, like in a decent place um because i feel like oh, okay so did the dining key went over there is that a flying page no i thought i saw a flying page i would go mad if i saw another oh wait actually is it here is it this one no it wasn't this one i know we disturbed the dining key but let's do this okay so 21 minus 11 is 10 minus that is two i think so we need eight which is the like octopus thingy no the sorry that one not the octopus and then 17 uh which one where is that one is that five um zero i think it starts from zero so that would be 5, so that would be 12, right? And then that one is 9, so that would be 3. Um, I think I saw that there was one up here. Let's see. 1 and then 3. I think it was 5 and 9, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Yes, it was. Look at us. Uh, this looks like a cryptid. We got a scarf and giant purple toad statue. Okay. Rebellion. There are the keys somewhere. Oh, there is a page over here. Yeah, I don't think we got all the pages. I really thought we did because it said 50 out of 50. But I guess there is more. Statue of Gregory the Smarmi. The Smarmi, I think. The statue with an ing indignating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is the best friend. Oh, I like that. I like that potion. That potion seems a fun one. Uh, okay. Where is the detaining key? Ooh. There is a locked door over there. Is it behind here? Oh, also I feel like I heard the key. Is the key over here? Yes. Here's the key. I think, okay, now. I think that key is gonna go to the other side. So let's unlock this door. And then we'll grab the key. Nice. Again, I feel like all these locked doors in Hogwarts, people must be able to like unlock them really early on. As in general students, not just us. Nice. Another page down. Am I crazy or are we not seeing anymore? How many pages are we? Do we still have to go? I feel like usually it's all this. Um... I don't know. Maybe 50 was like uh, 
like the maximum kind of um where you get still rewards from it and then the rest is just for completion i don't know whoops i thought we we're going i thought it was going i think he's gonna go now though there we go okay well we have found some bits we completed finally the quest um i think there is another yeah there is another like one up there i don't know if we already got that the daily key let's see let's just double check it no okay we're missing still one the daily key which to be fair is probably close here somewhere who knows well anyways we found uh finally we went into the hidden corridor which i think i think was pretty cool it was nice and it was another like secret passageway in hogwarts which is always fun to find anyways i think i'm gonna leave it here for this episode and then next episode we're gonna hopefully find the next the daily key to unlock this other um chest not chest because i really do want to see what's in the uh in the house uh chest and i think also we're going to be able to go up there to go to our dormitory anyways thank you so much for joining me if you have enjoyed this video please leave it a like and yeah i hope to see you in the next one anyways thank you so much for reaching the end of another video and i'll see you in the next one bye